Lafayette Leopards are the 2013 Patriot League champions after defeating number 15 Lehigh 50-28 in front of a sold-out crowd at Goodman Stadium on Saturday. Well, as I said all year long, our seniors have provided tremendous leadership. When they arrived as freshmen, we felt strongly about the talent in the class and the leadership that they would provide. And, and how they've led this team. And I really uh, got to give them a lot of credit for holding this football team together under some tough times. I, obviously, our staff, everyone just kept believing. And once we got on a little bit of roll, you know, I didn't think there was any stopping us. Again, my hat's off to Andy Cohen and his football team. Outstanding team, had a great year, but this was our time. The best feeling I've ever had in sports is the first major championship I've, I've ever won in my life. So it's a big accomplishment. And just the fact that this senior class has been so much through so much adversity since I've been here from, from freshman year. The fact that we had so many ups and, ups and downs, and even this season we had so many ups and downs. And the fact that we came up, came up strong in the end, just came out that uh, win. You know, it was, it was great. A victory over their arch rival has been a long time coming for the Lafayette seniors, who had never yet earned a win over the Mountain Hawks before this very special one that was capped off by them hoisting the Patriot League championship trophy. It means a lot to us because you know uh, we're on the field. Uh, I know it's a cliche that you say you fight for your brothers and stuff, but we honestly are really close and we're a close-knit group. And the fact that we are that close, I really think that there's an extra effort around the field for each other. It's a great feeling, you know, to, to get that win for the seniors. You know, they've, they've earned it. They've worked hard for four years and uh, they really have earned it. And hopefully we can get some, some more in uh, my next three years. Freshman quarterback Drew Reed was on target 20 of 27 times with his passes and earned MVP honors after throwing for a career best 378 yards and three touchdowns. You know, coming in, I just, I just wanted to play the best I could, you know, not try to do too much. Um, just give the ball to my playmakers in space and let them make plays like they did all day long. And, um, you know, it feels great, you know, to beat a good team and uh, it feels great to move on to the playoffs and win the Patriot League. He's been amazing this year. He came in. The freshman, it's tough at playing quarterback. You have to learn the offense, and the fact that he's able to come in here and be that big of an impact, and obviously got game MVP. So congrats to him, and you know he just played amazing throughout this whole season. He is a very cool, cool customer. Doesn't let anything shake him. Uh, when he first arrived on campus this summer for workouts, first thing we said, you better put on a little bit of weight. It was about 175, 178, gotten up to about 190. But he's a terrific young man. Had a great high school career. Had it abruptly shortened with a uh, collarbone requiring surgery, but uh, we really like what we saw and obviously we were right about his talent. Reed's talent shined from the get-go. After Ross Schuerman put the Leopards on the board early in the first quarter on a one-yard touchdown run, Reed hit senior Mark Ross with a 31-yard touchdown pass to make it 14-0. Lehigh responded when quarterback Matt McHale hit Tyler Coyle with a 10-yard touchdown pass to cut the score to 14-7 in the second quarter. Shortly after, Reed threw a 4-yard touchdown pass to Justin Adams to make it 21-7. And with a little over a minute left before the break, McHale threw a 9-yard touchdown pass to Lee Kerfis to make it 21-14, heading into halftime. It was the desire, the dedication, and uh, the relentless effort that uh, these kids gave today. No matter what happened, we kept bouncing back, and that's the character of this football team. The Leopards increased their lead to 28-14 shortly into the second half on a seven-yard touchdown run by Marcellus Irving. Then again later in the third quarter when Ross Shurman scored on a one-yard touchdown run to make it 36-14. The Mountain Hawks tried to battle back in the fourth quarter, starting with a seven-yard touchdown pass that freshman quarterback Nick Shapnisky threw to Tyler Coyle to cut the score to 36-21. Lehigh scored again when Keith Sherman ran 13 yards to the end zone to make it 36-28 with 8.49 to go but the Leopards were relentless on both ends of the field. Reed fired a 68-yard touchdown pass to Demetrius Dixon to widen the gap to 43-28. Dixon finished the game with a career-best 107 yards. And on Lehigh's next drive, Lafayette defensive lineman Tyrus White forced the Mountain Hawks fumble that was snatched up by teammate James Pasha, who ran it 40 yards down the field for a touchdown to seal the 50-28 championship victory. Well, it's so rewarding. Again, I've had the good fortune and honor to be involved with tremendous student athletes at Lafayette College now for 27 years, 14 as the head coach and uh, 37 years of being in his business. But it just doesn't get any better than this to see this team get to this point and achieve their goal of winning a Patriot League championship. It's a great feeling and uh, I'm honored to be part of this team and uh, honored to play with this coaching staff and players. The rivalry will always be a big one, but uh... You know, the, credit to Lehigh, they, they played great today, but uh, we were able to just play, execute the game plan well and uh, come out with a win. The Leopards now advance to represent the Patriot League in the FCS playoffs and will learn their opponent on Sunday when the brackets are announced.
For the Patriot League Network, I'm Melanie Klauski.